the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum, invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Summertime in Chicago, and everybody's feeling very, very hot. Last week, I'm reading a paper in a weather column, and it said, Max temperature 102. Next day was a max temperature 103. Day after that is a max 104. But yesterday, I see that a max is a temperature is a 98. They must have given a max of penicillin. <laughs> But anyway, now he's back to normal. But one thing they got in America, Mamma Mia, to keep it cool, is it called air conditioning. I'm explaining to you what's this air conditioning. In the wintertime, you got a good chance to catch a pneumonia. <laughs> but in case you miss it in the winter, then there's the air conditioner, which is to give you a chance to catch it in the summertime. Right? <laughs> but the strangest thing about America is that there's summer vacation. City people, they run to the country. Country people, they run to the city. Seashore people, they run to the mountains. Mountain people, they run to the seashore. <laughs> Mommy, it seems like nobody's to take a vacation. They're just to change the places. <laughs> well, it's a hot, hot night, and it would be nice and out to take a walk in the park. But it's a time for my night school class, and I'm rather be there than any other place. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From the ocean to ocean. All right, class, class. It's a hot night, so let's pay attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Push firing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you are present. You are not perspiring. No? Then somebody must have hit me in the face with a wet fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellow troopers. Oh, tonight I'm hotter than a bald head in the bleacher. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. It's hot enough. Why must you remind us? Miss Spaulding. Uh, yes, Mr. Harwood? If you would be so kind as to listen to a suggestion of mine, I would like to make it. Yes? One of these hot days, why can't we hold our class on the beach? Harwood, that, that's a wonderful idea. Good. I've never been to the beach before, and I'd like to go. Well, it's, it's a cool suggestion, but what could we possibly study on the beach? What could you possibly study on the beach? <laughs> Anatomy! <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. Oh, no, but Miss Polly, we could have studied history, and we could have studied spelling, and we could have studied anything. You study what you want, I study what I want. <laughs> Miss Folding, I think I gave birth to a good idea. Not only could we study lessons, but we could bring along sandwiches and we'll make a beach party. That sounds very good. Yeah, please, Miss Spalding. Let's go, huh? Uh, Miss Spalding, if I may be permitted a few words. I don't like the idea. 
I don't think we should have a class on the beach. Oh, stop, old one. You can come along, too. On a hot day, there's nothing like having a long, a wet blanket. <laughs> I, I, I do my homework in the daytime. And my schoolwork to me is more important than wasting an afternoon on a hot, crowded beach. In other words... Now, in other I, words, you got bandy legs and you are ashamed to be seen in a bathing room. <laughs> that is not true, Schultz. I haven't got bandy legs. No? Olsen, when you cross your legs, your knees are still 11 inches apart. <laughs> now, you wait a minute, Schultz. Ah, Olsen, I am talking about you being bandy-legged. <laughs> you should see me in the bathing suit. I look like a wishbone with skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Olsen. What do you say? You coming at all, huh? <laughs> I think I come. <laughs> oh, and uh, I would like to bring Mrs. Olsen, too. A wonderful idea. My wife Esther would love to come along, too. All right, and I'll bring my wife, too. Uh, but uh, wait a minute, the class. I'm, I'm uh, not got a wife, so, so what, what, uh, what am I going to do? I'm uh, out of luck, I guess. Uh, out of luck, yeah. Luigi, for being so ignorant, you deserve to be married. <laughs> Well, you've got to get a girl for Luigi. That's right, Olsen. How? Yeah. No, wait a minute, what? Luigi. Tell me this. Can you whistle like this? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to try. <laughs> don't worry. He'll get a girl. <laughs> Look, Luigi, when you see a beautiful girl on the beach, you walk over and ask her... What time it is? No, oh, but it's just, uh, I'm always a carry watch in my pocket. <laughs> you ask her what day it is, what month it is, what year it is. Yeah, but it's just, I'm, I'm always a carry a little pocket the calendar, too. <laughs> then you walk over to her and ask her for a light. But it's just, I'm always a carry matches in the pocket, sir. <laughs> Uh, you know something, Luigi? You must be wearing the bulkiest bathing suit in Chicago. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Luigi, I got a girl for you. Shirley Smith. Oh, you should see her. A doll. A picture for a girl. Yeah, but how do you think you think this girl is going to go with me? Why not, Luigi? A fellow like you I'll always recommend to a girl. Thank you, Harrowitz. Well, everything is all settled. Except Miss Spalding. What about you? Are you coming with us tomorrow? You haven't said a word. Well, I don't know. I, oh, I... come on, Miss Spalding. After all, a beautiful girl like you. <laughs> well, I'd like to come, oh, but... Oh, what are you going to look like with a bathing suit? <laughs> <laughs> well... Schultz, you should have more respect. Mr. Olson, don't interrupt when Mr. Schultz is speaking. <laughs> My friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, Pasquale, Pasquale. I'm, I'm so happy. Tomorrow I'm going to the beach and I'm going into the water for the first time. Hey, Luigi, that's a wonderful. <laughs> Rosa, she's a crazy about the beach. And wait till you see her in her new bathing suit. <laughs> Is it so much at the pinch you're going to go crazy with a power? <laughs> Believe me, Luigi, she's a sight. That I can believe. <laughs> well, please, Pascale, excuse me, because I'm, I'm got to go buy myself a bathing suit, you see. I'm, I'm going out with a girl. Nice, a nice girl. Her, her name is uh, 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 Shirley Smith. Look, Luigi, I'm trying very hard to control myself. If you need a girl to take to the beach, why you no ask my Rosa first? Well, it's clearly the, well, the, whole, the whole thing is happening so fast, and before That's I know anything, I was... the problem with you. All the time, you running around like a crazy man on a Thanksgiving looking for a two-pound of chicken, when all the time in my house you can find a nice plump turkey. <laughs> You're so right, Pasquale. Rossi is a real turkey. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, it's a come out of difference. <laughs> Look, Luigi, tell me something, will you? What's this Shirley Smith got, huh? Oh, Pasquale. 
How do we just say that, that she's a beautiful and ah, that she's a beautiful? Ah, baloney, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, that's what he said. All right, right, all right. What if a girl is a beautiful and she's got a nice shape, pretty hair and all that? That's a nothing. My Rose says they got something none of these girls has got. You know what that is? 250 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean a character. Oh. And don't make so much fun about her weight. I want to tell you something. When you marry a girl, you should take all you can get for those lean years. <laughs> you know, Luigi, how they always are talking about bad times? <laughs> when it comes to depression, my roasts are going to go ten years without eating. Please, <laughs> Pascal, <laughs> he's, he's not used to talking now. Horowitz has already made the date for me. So, so if you excuse me, I'm going out there now and buy me... Nice to in the suit. All right, the go, go. You're so anxious to show off to a girl with a fancy bathe in the suit. Go on, I don't right, care. I, I got a good notion. Bathe in the suit. <laughs> Sit down, a little pumpkin head. <laughs> Sit down and what the fuck? Sit down, I'm going to talk to you. Look, no matter what's happened with you and Rosa... You and me, we still are friends, Luigi, you know that. I love you, little cabbage <laughs> boots, you know that. I always want to help you. Ah, oh, thank you, Pascal. That's a nice one. And I'm, I'm like to hear you say that. Hey, <laughs> sure, Luigi. I'm going to help you like a mama tiger is to help a little baby deer. That's a nice one. <laughs> Luigi, when you go out to with a girl, is my advice. You don't want to spend your last money on a bathing suit. You want to spend the money on a girl. Well, sure, that's, that's the right to prescribe, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a bed in the suit. Ah, that's <laughs> where I come in. Hey, I'm going to give you one of mine. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, Pascal. Hey, Pascal, you're so good to me. <laughs> uh, not hey, but wait, 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 you. Huh? Hey, you were size of 54. Look, Luigi, this is a French style of bathing suit. You've got to figure with a foreign exchange. Oh. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, three francs is worth the one American a dollar. Oh. Take a 54, slice it by three, and come out 18. <laughs> but, Pascal, uh, my size is, is a 38. Well, let me finish. When you trade from a French to American, they always give you a bonus. So you take 18, you add a 20, you got a 38. 38. Oh, that's, that's just my size. Oh, you lucky pumpkin. <laughs> oh, Luigi, are you going to look good in this bathing suit? It's not the ordinary type. This one's got a stripes. Stripes? <laughs> only on the shirt. Shirt? The latest model, only half the sleeves. <laughs> and you should see the trunk, Luigi. It's got the new look. The new look? That's all right. Comes down below the knees. <laughs> but first of all, Luigi, in the back has got a little holes, especially for cross of veneration. Uh, that's called uh, the peekaboo type. <laughs> that's, that's the sound of very, very modern. Modern? modern. Uh, Luigi, you know how summer suits is to show a picture of a girl diving and it's to say champion on it? Yes, I see that. Well, on this suit is a picture of a man smoking a cigar and it's to say vote for President McKinley. Oh, oh, this is sound wonderful. Sure, Luigi, when you walk on the beach with this girl, Shirley, nobody's going to look on her. All eyes is going to be on you. Uh Before we return to life with Luigi, here's an easy way to get more enjoyment and satisfaction out of the things you do during the day. From time to time, chew a stick of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum. You see, chewing on a good piece of gum just naturally helps you feel better and enjoy what you're doing. Gives you a little lift and makes things go smoother and pleasanter for you. Wrigley Spearmint Gum tastes good, too. It has a lively, long-lasting, real spearmint flavor that freshens your taste, sweetens your breath, and leaves your mouth feeling cool and clean. Enjoy it often, 
at home, at work, wherever you are. Remember to get Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, soon I'm going to meet all of my friends and this girl is Shirley at the beach. I hope she's going to like me. A little while ago, Pasquale is to bring his, in his bathing suit, nice and neat, all packed up. It's to have a funny smell, so... So I'm asking Pasquale what it is. And he's to tell me it's a new perfume that's called Evening in the Motorballs. <laughs> well, soon, Mamma Mia, is going to be my first time at the beach, and I'm, I'm going to meet this girl, Shirley. I'm, I'm going to hardly wait. Luigi, my fellow booper. Oh, hello, Shirley. Are you all ready? Ready? Am I ready? But well, look at me. For my delicatessen, I brought along enough sandwiches to kill an army. Ah, uh, uh, sure. You mean to feed an army. Uh, Don't tell me about my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Luigi. All right, sure. Uh, tell me what, what, what I should do to, to make a good impression on this girl, Shirley. Now, Luigi, take a tip from me. Girls go crazy about fellas what make love to them. Oh, sure. So what are you talking about? You make a lover to a girl on the first date? Uh, sure. You sit down on the sand, hold her hand, you put your head on her shoulder, she puts her head on your shoulder, and all day long you look like a couple of bookends. <laughs> but Schultz, Schultz, what if we go in the water? You do the same thing, only your whole feet. <laughs> now, now you're just making it fun. No, Luigi, believe me, I know girls. In Italy, you serenade a girl under a balcony with a guitar. Yeah, in France, you get a bottle of wine and you whisper sweet words in a cabaret. Uh -huh. Yeah, but in America, you take her to the beach, you buy her a hamburger and a root beer, and you spend the rest of the day trying to get a return on your investment. <laughs> You know, something. you're making me feel better already. I'm, I'm not going to be so nervous. Well, that's now. good, Luigi. Uh -huh. Come on, we got to go. Who right. are we going to have fun on that beach? <laughs> Healthy exercise, walking, running, jumping, swimming. Oh, my rheumatism is killing <laughs> Beach. You're right, Schultz. You can't even breathe. Well, what do you know? Down there by the pier, a hot dog fainted, but squeezed too tight in the road. <laughs> well, there's Olsen. We'll all be together as soon as Luigi comes out of the locker room. Yeah. No, Olsen. Where is your wife? Well, uh, while walking along the beach, uh, we got separated. <coughs> Where is your wife, all of it? She got lost in the crowd. Schultz, where's your wife? Uh, well, uh, we, we got separated, too. It wasn't easy, was it, boy? Look who's coming. Miss Falling. Just look at her. Ain't you glad we lost our wives? Hello, everybody. Mr. Olsen, Mr. Horowitz, Mr. Schultz. Well... <laughs> Don't just stand there with your mouths open. Say something. Present. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that's the first time I ever heard you say present. And perspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bowman, in that bathing suit you look, you should pardon the expression, who ha <laughs> Miss <laughs> you look just beautiful. Himmel, class will never be the same. Look, 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 everybody. Here comes Luigi. What is he bearing? It looks like a tent from Army Zerplo. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Look at what my friend Pasquale did to me. 
Here's a give me this a bad suit. Well, if each your doubt look a little big. Big? You're going to have to swim with the right hand so that the left hand can hold up the pad. Sure, <laughs> and, and just look at those holes in the back. Yeah, but the Pascalis are telling me not to sew them up. That's to let in the light. Let in the light? you got enough room over the holes for Venetian blinds. <laughs> Please, 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 friends, I, I'm a feel terrible. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to go home. Please, tell the girl, Shelley, you I You was... stay right here, Mr. Basco. I don't blame you for feeling terrible the way we're all talking. Now, let's all help him. Good, good. Yeah, but what, what, what are you going to do? Let's form a circle around him. Huh? Oh, yes, Come on, now. Right. I have I'll a sewing kit. Oh, now, right. the first thing we'll do, we'll cut off the bottom of these trunks. Oh, oh, the... Yeah, and it's a pleasure to get rid of this old shirt. Oh, oh. That's good. Now, give me a safety pin, Miss Paulding, and I'll pin him back over here. I should be very good at this. I had three babies. <laughs> now, we'll just pack it up over here. Yeah. There, Mr. Basco. Now, doesn't that look much better? Yeah, it's uh, much better. Yeah, but it's a big draft. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you, friends. That's, that's really helping me out. And not a minute too soon. Here comes Shirley. You who Shirley! Yes, but come on, everybody. Let's all go for a swim and leave those two alone. Jump no, but on. wait, wait, wait. Do you, do you think I'm looking right to, to Shirley in these, uh, these pants? Oh, thing? I wouldn't worry about her. She seemed like a very nice girl coming down here. Luigi, just be yourself. If girls was only interested in bathing trunks, millions of dummies in store windows would be married tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, everybody. Ooh, look at that suit that she is wearing. Hello, Luigi. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, you're not very talkative. No. Oh, well, um, aren't you going to say anything uh, about my new bathing suit? What the suit? The... <laughs> <laughs> the one I'm wearing. Don't you like it? What is it? <laughs> oh, what are you staring at? It's a polka dot suit. Mamma mia, one the dot. <laughs> Hiya, cutie. I noticed you coming out of the locker room. Hmm? If you have any trouble with any of the characters around here, just holler for me. No, I'm having no trouble at all. Excuse me, mister. Who are you? I'm the lifeguard here. A lot of the girls around here call me muscles. Oh. Hey, you. Can you do a double somersault? For oh, me? No, no, but I'm, I'm going to wiggle in my ears like a rabbit. <laughs> ah. Now, watch this, cutie. Don't step on my sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's a simple one. What do you think of it, baby? Quite impressive. Ah, nothing at all. Two weeks with a bar belt, and I'm ashamed to show such an easy stunt. Hey, Buster, you think you want to try that one? Nope. Well, what can you do? Well, uh, let me see now. I can, uh, I can make it like a chicken. <laughs> Why don't you lay that egg? <laughs> I'm pretty fast, eh, Dimples? Now, watch this. I stand on my hands, I go into a one-and-a-half flip-flop, and I land on my toes. Watch. Don't step on my sandwich. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Only two guys on the beach can do that one. Me and Mr. Shoulder Muscle of 1949. He keeps falling on his heels plenty of times. Boy, I'll bet you must spend a lot of time practicing. Ah, three, four hours a day. Now for my specialty. In this one, I take a running broad jump, land on my hands, flip over into a headstand, and... Don't step on my sandwich! <laughs> eh, hey, dry up. Now, come on with me, cutie, and I'll show you. Now, wait, wait, shut it down. Don't go. I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm going to try that same trick. Now, watch, everybody. First, I'm going to bend it down. Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that bathing suit come apart. What is that there, a safety pin? You better call a diaper service, kid. You're due for a change. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Shirley, Shirley. Mamma mia, she's to go away with him. Hey! I've been looking all over the beach for you. 
Hey, what's happening to my bathing suit? Oh, Pasquale, what, what a suit you gave me, my friends. They try to fix it up, but it's of no use. Pasquale, it's my first day on the beach, and it's the worst day in my whole life. Ah, what do you friends know about style? Luigi, serves you right for trying to step out of your class. You stay with your friend Pasquale, marry Rosa, and then you never get embarrassed. Maybe you're right, Pasquale. Sure, I'm all right. Well, Luigi, I gotta pepper you up for now. She so happened I bring my little baby with me. I gotta call her over. Rosa! 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 <laughs> Come near my little clamshell. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Well, Rosa, don't just stand there looking at Luigi. Say something nice. Luigi, you want to bury me in the sand? <laughs> I don't think there's enough sand on a beach. <laughs> My two little love boys to make a jokes with each other. Now, Luigi, my plans are for you and Rosa. Here I am, Luigi. Oh, let's go in for a swim. Oh, Shirley. Oh, you come back, huh? I, I thought you was the one away with that, uh, that lobster guy. What? Go away with that corny character? Oh, I was just trying to get rid of him. Oh, come on, Luigi. Let's go in the water. Oh, Shirley, it's going to be wonderful. Hey, just a minute, lady. This man is a half a married man. And if anybody's to try to steal him from my daughter, I'm going to put my foot down. Wait, so look out the first rally. <laughs> Who threw this potato salad into my face? I told you not to stop on my face! <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, what I thought it was going to be worse today in my life would turn out to be very nice. Oh, that Shirley's a wonderful girl. After I'm going to bring her home from the beach, we stand in her hallway, and I'm going to have the best time of my life. For two hours, I'm going to do nothing but a wiggle in my ears and make like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when, then when I'm going to say goodnight to her, Shirley is to lean over to me and say, hey, do you forget the something, Luigi? Well, I'm a feeling in my pockets. I got to my watch and my pocket of calendar, my matching. So I'm going to say no. Then she's going to kiss me and I go home. But then before I'm going to go to bed, I'm, I'm going to suddenly realize what the fool I was, Mamma Mia. After all those years that Uncle Pietro has taught me, I'm going to forget to show Shirley how I can jump up like a kangaroo. Hello, the son of Luigi Vasco, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that it's a good idea to have a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum in your home at all times. Give Wrigley's Spearmint to the children for a treat between meals. They love it, and it won't spoil their appetite. Enjoy Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often yourself. The good chewing will make the time pass more pleasantly for you. And pass Wrigley Spearmint gum around when you're entertaining your friends. It's a friendly gesture that people appreciate. So next time you go to the store, get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. It costs so little, tastes so good, and it's a treat that just about everyone enjoys. <laughs> The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. 
The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, with Lucille Alex, Ed Max, and Gerald Moore. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin, Charles Lyon speaking. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>